uh, share with us how did this uh, demon enter your life and how it all began? Uh, when I was about eight or nine, my dad sacrificed me to uh, the demon god Baal. Who are you? Introduce yourself, you demon. The most ancient to the tribes of Israel. The That's... false prophets you stood birthing me. Oh, false prophets. How do you operate? What are the evil you have done? Ruin her life, ruin her family. How long have you existing? Since Moses went up on Mount Sinai to get the Ten Commandments, and Aaron took the gold and threw it in the fire and created the false god Baal. I am Baal. You are Baal? Yeah. Uh huh. So they worship you? Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. She's free. So since then, what had that uh, demon done in your life and how did it destroy you and your family? Uh, suicide, depression, and ended up uh, causing bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, manic depressive, um, a lot of financial ruin in my family, a lot of uh, chaos. And uh, that day when you came to the, to the conference and as we saw the video that how God has delivered you, how did you feel after that deliverance? Amazing, light, like I mean, I'd never been happy before in my life and uh, it, it was freedom. Like, I mean, you don't know freedom until you've been in bondage and it's just, you can't explain it. He's amazing. Come on, let us put our hands together for Jesus. Can you share with us how has your life been since that deliverance, what God Almighty has done, and the changes that you have seen? Um, everything's different. My attitude's different. I go to work and they're like, what the hell happened to you? You are weird. You smile now. What is up? Um, I don't take meds anymore. I used to take 15 different meds every four hours. Um, highest doses ever. Um, it's great. And uh, can you tell us the, the medicine that you should take? What did the doctors say to you and uh, the changes that you've seen in that? Um, when I told them I was done and I wasn't schizophrenic anymore and I didn't need it, they're like, well, it's going to take you two years to get it out of your system. Otherwise, you're going to have a heart attack or a stroke. So three weeks and three days and God delivered me. Wow, wow. Three weeks and three days, God just... This is, this is a power of God. And what advice can you give to people who are here uh, this afternoon wanting to see that freedom in their lives? What can you encourage them with? Believe. Come. Be open. You got nowhere to go up but up. I mean, you've already been down. You're already there. What, what do you have to lose but to gain everything? Everything. Come on. Thank you so much, Casey, for this wonderful, wonderful word of advice.